Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what spiritual gifts are getting ready to come online for you. So this can be a past life gift that is getting ready to reawaken, reemerge in some way in your life. Um, this can also be a new gift that your spiritual team is going to be downloading to you that in some way um, involves your soul purpose going forward. So there are three groups to choose from in today's reading. For group one, we've got this Howlite star. For group two, we've got this green fluorite octahedron. And for group three, we've got the amethyst egg. So if you want to take a minute to center on your breathing, um, focus, meditate, and feel whichever group or maybe multiple groups that you are drawn to, um, either based on the group number, one, two, or three, or perhaps the crystal that is drawing you to view that group, and we will go ahead and get right into it. Hi, group one. You chose the Howlite star. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. And I'm going to start with some oracle cards to get a feel for what spiritual gift is getting ready to activate or come online for you. For group one. Okay, so we've got the diamond star, Destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. So immediately I'm being drawn to the crown chakra with that card. Um, but let me get a little more as far as oracle cards are concerned to see. Looks like this is probably something that's being downloaded or in some way maybe has to do with, yes, communicate. I was just going to say communication. And then here we have this eagle card and communication that came out. So definitely a confirmation um, of that. One more oracle card let's see for group one for their spiritual gift okay and we've got dream guide teacher guardian so i feel that for you group one you are getting ready to have a major crown chakra crown chakra excuse me awakening um, a crown chakra activation and I feel that what this is going to function as for you is a greater connection um, and exchange of information between you and your higher self and you and your spirit guides and the higher realms um, with your star family. If you resonate as a star seed, this can also be with ascended masters, um, perhaps even passed on loved ones, either your passed on loved ones or other people's passed on loved ones. And in some way, you are going to be receiving insights, um, messages, probably a lot of clairvoyance happening, um, maybe prophetic dreams that are going to be occurring for you, um, premonitions. And in some way, you are going to, if you do not already um, consider yourself as like um, a medium or a clairvoyant, then I feel that this spiritual gift that is activating, it is going to bring that capacity online for you. So in some way, you are going to either be um, either unconsciously or deliberately able with greater ease to communicate messages to other people as far as maybe communication with passed on loved ones, um, messages that passed on loved ones have 
or their um, living relatives or living loved, one, loved ones, or in some way, um, you're going to be receiving downloads and insights from the higher realms that you can then pass on to a community in some form or fashion, if you have a platform, for example, or even just people that you encounter that come to you for advice or maybe a community that you're a part of and you, whether you're going to be describing it as downloads or insights, or if it's just going to in some way, um, just kind of strengthen your ability to communicate guidance that people need to hear. I feel that that is a spiritual gift that you are going to see flourish in the coming weeks and months. So I'm going to get a little bit of tarot now to get some more clarity about this, this spiritual gift, this communication, these downloads. Okay, so we've got the Five of Swords. We've got the Three of Pentacles. And we've got the Seven of Swords. So I'm feeling with these cards, um, a lot of mental energy with these swords, a lot of this air energy. Um, and then right in the middle of all that, we've got this, this earth energy, this pinnacle energy. So I feel that this is really speaking to um, kind of drawing information down from the higher realms, either by deliberately entering into a state of meditation, maybe even like trance meditation to access these higher realms, um, to gain wisdom and insight, to then convey and to bring down, to carry through to the material world. Um, or it's something that's going to happen um, quite unconsciously, not a deliberate thing that you're doing, but it's just going to come quite spontaneously or quite naturally to you to, again, access these higher realms um, and bring that information down. And I feel that some of the ways that this is going to show up for you, um, you're going to be able to serve as kind of a mediator in terms of maybe dispute resolution or perhaps in a counseling capacity where people are coming to you for advice as far as difficulties that they're having with other people or even difficulties with themselves, just kind of internal conflicts, um, maybe some negative self-talk or defeating thoughts. And you're really going to be able to access kind of the right things to say to ease the conflict that is occurring in these people's lives or in some way help them to come to a point of dispute resolution. I feel that you also are probably going to, in some capacity, going to be a finder of lost things. Um, and as that relates to this idea of mediumship, which was coming out with these oracle cards, I feel that for some people, it's going to be passed on loved ones that you're going to be communicating with that are either going to be conveying to you um, some kind of healing energy or messages for those loved ones of theirs that are still embodied, that maybe things didn't end on such good terms with these people when, when the loved one passed. And so they are going to be, um, through you, conveying words that were unspoken or maybe giving some clarity. Maybe if there was um, something about you know, a precious item, a precious heirloom or artifact that was somehow misplaced or overlooked, um, that some kind of guidance is going to be coming through via you for these loved ones as far as where to look f to recover this lost item or this lost heirloom, or maybe something that was really important to this person and they wanted a particular somebody to have, but maybe that wasn't stated in a will or there were no final wishes about that. Maybe their passing was quite sudden, and so there was no time to really um, make those final plans and preparations. So in some way, I feel that it's both in the regard of the lost items and then also in terms of maybe clearing up misunderstandings or words that were left unspoken when this person passed. It's going to bring a lot of peace and comfort and resolution to disagreements, maybe long-standing feuds or if the two individuals were not speaking when one of them passed, it's really going to bring a lot of comfort to the person left alive or the people left alive to be able to um, kind of get some clarity and closure 
via you, via the things you say, um, maybe even not consciously, but something that you are having a conversation with somebody and you feel inspired to say something or in some way um, make a suggestion, maybe tell a story or tell an anecdote and something something that you say comes through and it really just sparks this aha moment in that other person. It gives them perspective on something, maybe helps them to open their heart to forgiveness. Um, or in terms of the lost object, maybe it's something that they've been searching for or, you know, they had a recollection of but couldn't find. And something you say maybe kind of triggers this inspiration within them in terms of a new place to look. So let me get... One of these activation cards and take a look and see what ascended master or like a god or a goddess or an archangel is going to be working with you um, during this time where this gift is really coming online for you and it's going to be a really a really good source of support as you kind of carry out this task um, or this gift rather of being able to access the higher realms for information and to really just bring that through into the material world. And we've got the angel Isda and the stone that is associated with this angel is carnelian and this says nourishment. So carnelian with that red, um, that's definitely root chakra energy. So again, this sense of really accessing that information um, or those insights or those vibrations from the higher realms and you really serving as an anchor or a grounding force for that bringing this this knowledge and information down from the higher realms into the material world to convey messages to people or to just bring um, ideas forth or a vibration of ideas forth so this is something which it's going to give the way in which you, when the spiritual gift comes online or back online for you, if this is something from a past life, um, the way that you carry this forth into the material world, it's really going to give a lot of sustenance, um, a lot of healing, a lot of closure to people. It's going to nourish them at a soul level in terms of maybe something that they had been confused about or in the case of like a passed on loved one where they'd really just been kind of holding on to grievances or some kind of uncertainty. And whatever it is that you're able to tap into and communicate, it's really gonna give them a lot of solace. It's gonna give them a sense of peace and it's going to be able to, in some way, fill a void that these people have been going forward with in their life since the passing of this individual that they just haven't been able to fill. It's something that you say or some way that you're communicating this or even just the energy that you're tapping into and you're bringing it down into the material plane that it's, it's really going to be, it's a source of healing for those you come in contact with um, in the capacity of this clairvoyance or in some way, you know, the communication of this higher realm energy. So I'm going to finish this with a little bit of guidance about this spiritual gift and maybe what that's going to, what that's going to look like and entail. So any cards that came out for that? We've got Divine Feminine. So this is really talking about receptivity and just really the guidance is, you know, to be receptive to this energy that's going to come in, um, to maybe messages that you get, insights that you get, um, maybe visions that you're having or just kind of spontaneous inspirations. Maybe you're going to feel called to speak about something on a platform or reach out to somebody and have a conversation with them about something and you're not really sure why. And, you know, the guidance here from your angels, from your guides, from your higher self and just all the the forces and entities that are that are with you supporting you as this this transformation is taking place as this awakening of this gift is taking pl taking place this reawakening is to just really lean into that place of receptivity trust the information that's coming through even if it's something that you don't understand that it doesn't fully make sense to you there's a reason for it and in some way um, you're meant to then carry that out into the material world you're meant to not just hoard these insights 
insights and this inspiration and information that you get, but you're in some way meant to kind of put that out into the world. You've also got this card of transformation. So it's going to, by you embracing this gift, embracing, you know, these, these downloads that you're getting, these insights, this information, um, and then carrying that forth in whatever way you feel guided to, it's really going to lead to some healing and some transformation for others. And it's also going to be very transformative for yourself. I feel that this is going to um, serve as a sense of empowerment for you. You're really going to feel that you are in some way carrying out your sole purpose in this lifetime, that you're making um, in whatever way, a contribution to the betterment of the world. You're helping to make the world a better place through providing comfort or answers or guidance for others. Yeah, and we've got this final confirmation of insight. So this, you know, this guidance from the higher realms coming down and this being just being very receptive to that and just very luminous with that. And so again, just really to trust the information that's coming in, the guidance, the, the messages that are coming in for you, um, that they are coming from a higher realm, they are coming from your higher self. And you've reached a point in your soul journey and the work that you've done on yourself and just at this point in your life where you're ready for this transformation, that this is this is the time for this to take place, um, that you're meant to be obtaining these insights and that this will not only help those around you, help those that you come in contact with or feel guided to reach out to or to be in contact with um, concerning messages. I feel though a lot of people are going to be coming to you for guidance and they're going to be coming to you um, to help them with difficulties or to resolve, like in the case of passed on loved ones, um, things that were left unspoken or, you know, some confusion or maybe just to try to find out if the loved one, how the loved one is doing now that they are no longer, you know, in the physical body and just kind of what happens next, where are they next? And so really just trust the insight that you're getting because it is sourced from a very high vibration. It is coming from a very divine place and you are, you're ready and it's your time to sort of serve as this, this anchor in the material world of this very high vibrational energy and then to just shine that out to all the corners of reality that it is needed the most. So those are your messages, group one. I hope that they resonated with you, that you got something out of this reading. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. You can also subscribe to my channel and get notifications about future videos that I post. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of this video for that. And you can follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description box of this video for that as well. So I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
my group two, I chose the green fluorite octahedron. So I'll put that right here. And let me start off with some oracle cards to get a feel for what spiritual gift is coming online for you. We've got Alcyon, Althusa, Sun Goddess, Lift Off. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion. So I'm feeling with this energy right here. Um, you're going to be getting a lot of maybe tangible sensations of premonition that are going to be showing up for you. Um, for some of you, this is going to be in the sense of being able to feel changes in the weather or in some way, maybe a strengthening of your empathic abilities in terms of being able to feel energies, feel the vibrations and intentions of other people. Um, if you don't already consider yourself an empath, I think definitely this is something where um, after these spiritual gifts come online or back online for a lot of you, if this is a past life gift, it's going to be something where um, you might feel drawn to that label of empath. You might feel drawn to researching more about that or in some way looking into that a lot more. Um, I feel that if you do already identify as an empath, your abilities as an empath are definitely going to become a lot stronger, a lot more heightened. Um, we've got this cave of sanctuary. And so to me, that speaks to that, that inner knowing, that empathic knowing knowing things without being able to know, to explain why you know them, because you're sensing them on a vibrational level. To be able to sense the intentions of others or the energy of a situation, of a place, um, of people, of rooms that you walk into, um, and that this is really going to be heightened. You're really going to be able to access that inner wisdom and to be able to explain it more to yourself. Like it's not just going to, it might feel maybe like a sense of, you know, heightened anxiety or heightened excitement or sometimes a feeling of heightened dread. But instead of questioning maybe where that's coming from or thinking like, are you getting sick or is something wrong or is it some kind of a nervous disorder? I think you're really, when this when this gift activates and comes back online and strengthens, it's going to be something where when you feel those sensations, your your higher self, your guides, your angels are really going to immediately direct that focus to this inner knowing that you have of being able to, that it's not, it's not you. These are exterior energies that you're really sensing. And so I feel that if you already uh, strongly feel energies around you, feel the intentions of other people, feel kind of the unspoken underlying currents that happen in situations and in places. I feel that this is something where you're going to be able to distinguish more easily between your own feelings and your own sensations and the vi versus the vibrations that you're picking up from your surroundings or from other people. So let me get another oracle card about this and see what's some more information about this, this spiritual gift that's coming back online or coming online maybe for the first time, activating or strengthening for group two. Okay, so we've got this card of metal, boundaries and caution. So I feel that this is, again, as you are able to, on a more heightened level, feel into the energies of people, of situations, of places, it's going to be something where you're also going to be 
strengthening your ability to discern the difference between your energy, your emotions versus those you're picking up from your environment. And this is also going to be something where you're going to be drawn to strengthening those skills to really just establishing for yourself um, some good energetic boundaries before going into stressful situations or if you find yourself dealing with people with really kind of heavy or stuck emotions or you know an energy maybe even energy attachments that you're picking up on um, part of this activation is methods and ways and ideas that come to you practices that come to you are strengthening of practices maybe that you already have that you already utilize as far as establishing those energetic boundaries for yourself so that you can move into more of an observer role of the energies and you know the currents of people and situations versus more versus a role of being more of a sponge and kind of taking those on and then internalizing them and mistaking them for yourself, for your own emotions, or becoming really drained by those things. So let's get some tarot now and take a look at how the specifics of how this might show up or what this might, what this might look like. So we've got the King of Pentacles. Two. We've got the Knight of Swords, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel that this is speaking strongly to this establishment of boundaries and really just being mastering your environment in the sense that having this awareness um, of your abilities as an empath or maybe the heightening of your abilities as an empath and really being called to discern and now on some level being able to more greatly discern between the vibrations of you, your own energy, your own emotions versus the things that you're picking up or perceiving from the environment around you, the people that you're interacting with, um, you're going to be able to be more in control of the ebb and flow of your own emotions. You're going to be able to um, have some discernment as far as maybe situations or people that you avoid or you maybe move to a more limited form of contact with going forward because you notice patterns of feeling overwhelmed or feeling drained or, you know, taking on in some way the emotions that those people or those situations bring with them, that they, that they project, that they're emanating out. Um, I feel that this is something where you're going to learn to, with this Knight of Swords, you're going to be using your voice a lot more as far as establishing boundaries, as far as being able to really verbalize and describe what it is you're feeling and separating that from what others are feeling and that you're merely just picking up on. I feel that this is something also um, that in your own environment and in your dealings in the material world and your dealings with other people and maybe um, projects you invest your time in or it can even be like a workplace situation, I feel that it is in some way you're going to... Um, strengthen your ability of interacting with people, of creating harmony and creating um, suitable spaces for yourself in the material world because you will be able to identify and in some way be able to more greatly decipher environments that don't resonate with you, that don't vibrate well with you, maybe people that they themselves are not vibrating well, and you can then create, you can restructure your dealings with those people, how often you have contact with them. For certain people in situations, it's going to be something that you cut out altogether um, in order to create a more harmonious environment for yourself going forward, a place in which you can thrive and you can feel comfortable and good about yourself and good about the energetic exchange going on versus feeling very depleted, um, very shaken or very like bogged down and overwhelmed by the vibrations and energy that you're picking up from people and circumstances around you. 
So I think with this, with this deepening, this understanding, it's really going to give you a roadmap as far as what needs to be cut from your life, cut from your environment, um, even if that includes people or just maybe programs that you're watching on TV or podcasts you're listening to, just something that you're you're ingesting energetically, um, the, energetic, the energy of people, places, and situations, and to really be able to then decipher um, energetically what is a good match for you versus what is not, and then kind of with love clearing away those situations, people, and places that are not um, making you feel your best that are not making you they're not raising your vibration but instead are bringing you down and then by clearing those things out then you open up this ability to really build more abundance for yourself build an environment create an environment that makes you feel good that makes you feel powerful that makes you feel capable um, and really just brings out the best in you a place where you can thrive as opposed to being somewhat oppressed by the the energies and the vibrations that you pick up from others and from places so let's see what is it an angel or ascended master or a guy that'll be working with you strongly during this this activation of this spiritual gift and we've got the goddess beset and the stone is cat's eye and it says sacred pleasure so with that fiery energy i'm feeling again just this this call to really, you know, sensing the energy, sensing the the inner fire, the vibration of your circumstances, of people around you, situations around you, and really being able to decipher um, the things which make you feel your best, which make you feel very empowered, and then moving in the direction of that, kind of moving away from things that are draining, people, situations, places that kind of bog you down, um, and actively through this heightened empathy, being able to navigate through those uncertainties, through the emotions and vibrations you're picking up from others and from places and, you know, situations and being able to move in a direction of that which is fulfilling for you. Um, with goddess beset to you know she's she's the cat goddess in egyptian in the egyptian pantheon and so cats you know they have this heightened sense of intuition and really being able to see between worlds to recognize these intangible vibrations and things that aren't apparent to human eyes or you know really to perceive dangers before they happen and you know anticipate maneuvers that need to be made in order to be the most agile in their environment so i feel that that is also speaking to this this deep empathy that is going to be coming online for you or a deepening of your um, abilities as an empath and that these abilities as they deepen it's not going to be something which is again going to be very overwhelming for you it can be in the sense that you're going to be, as much as you might currently be kind of picking up on these vibrations, you're going to be picking up on them more so. But I feel that when this happens, it's going to be counterbalanced by this ability to know that this isn't just an issue with you, to recognize what it is that's happening. And then that gives you the option of if the heightened vibration you're feeling, if it feels good, move in the direction of that. If the heightened vibration that you're feeling that other people are giving off or places are giving off or situations are giving off, if that doesn't feel comfortable, it feels very constrictive or very negative, then you recognize that for what it is and you can make then the choice to move in an alternative direction um, based purely on sensing the vibrations that are maybe lying under the surface of things that are not so obvious in the actions or the words of other people but it's it's just it's this unspoken current um the true intentions if you will the true nature of situations and of people and of places so you really can just like read below read between the lines read below the surface to be able to with a greater sense of discernment determine if this is the best environment for you if these are the best people to be associating with um and then depending on what your conclusion is about that, moving in the direction of your highest good, of a situation or people that are, are going to nourish you on a soul level versus bring you down. So get some final guidance about this. Okay, so we've got inward revolution. So I feel that this is talking about, um, again, just that, that strengthening or that reawakening of that internal antenna that 
empathic antenna within you. Um, and this just, it being something that really sets you free in a lot of ways from maybe people you were associating with previously that, you know, after you hung out with them or you talked to them, you felt really bad or you felt really down and you didn't understand why maybe, you know, it wasn't, you guys had a really good time together, but then just something really made you feel drained. And in some way it's going to, it's going to be a revolution of thought where you're really going to be able to perceive and understand that maybe this is a subconscious vibration that this person is carrying or some kind of like energetic attachment to them that really just sponges off your system. It depletes your energetic resources most likely not even consciously from this person, but it's just on a vibrational level, it's just not a good match. And so creating this distance between yourself and that person, or if, you know, this, what I just discussed applies to a situation or a place or, you know, some activity, some group that you belonged to in some way, just being able to really see um, the physiological effects within you of, associating with things that are not an equal give and take, but are merely just taking or, you know, burdening your energy and then to be able to move towards something that is more uplifting for you. And we've got this card of soul craft. So I feel this is something that this is definitely a skill and it's definitely going to be a craft that you then you you utilize this in order to create a better world for yourself, create a better environment for yourself, create relationships that are more fulfilling and more nourishing for you. Um, and the more, the longer that this gift is online, you know, the more you experience it and you kind of work with it and explore it, like any craft, you're going to become better at that discernment, at being able to kind of separate and create the boundary between thoughts and emotions and sensations which are yours versus things you are picking up from your external environment or from people. And we've also got this card of light beings. So I feel that if you resonate as a star seed, then this is a confirmation that your star family is with you, supporting you um, through this energetic upgrade, if you will, or, you know, through this activation that a lot of these codes, these, you know, that's awakening or maybe strengthening this gift of empathy within you. It is coming from your star family. It is coming from, you know, other worlds, basically. And it's also something which, you know, beyond the kind of literal meaning of light beings and sort of this galactic imagery on this card, I'm really also getting this message that this is, as this gift comes online for you and you you learn to kind of trust it, to lean into it, to really just search that, that place within you to be able to decipher um, emotions and sensations that are yours versus things you're just picking up. It's really going to lend to this lightness of being. Um, maybe a lot of heavy or oppressive kind of thoughts or feelings of being drained. Um, as you're able to identify that as coming from something exterior to yourself and then work on strengthening your boundaries and kind of purging or releasing or cutting cords with that type of energy, it's really going to lighten your being. It's going to lighten your outlook. It's going to lighten the way that you move through the world um, as you establish these better boundaries, these better barriers, and this better sense of discernment to move toward what fulfills you and away from that which kind of depletes and drains you. So those are your messages, group two. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed this reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. You can also subscribe to my channel and get notifications about future videos that I post. If you would like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of this video for that. You can also follow me on Instagram, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that as well. So I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.
Hi, group three. You chose the amethyst egg. Put that right up here. And I'm going to start with some oracle cards to see what spiritual gift is getting ready to come online for you or back online for you. This is a past life gift. Okay, so we've got the lapis lazuli star, starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. So... I'm feeling with this card, um, telepathy can be something that is coming back online for you or is strengthening for you or in some way is getting ready to, um, for the first time really open up for you or open up in some, some new capacity to what you might have experienced it if at all previously. And I've got this card here, crystals, focus. So there's all that kind of third eye energy as well of really just, you know, seeing within, kind of visions within, things that you see not out in the material 3D world, but these these images and this this knowing within and being able to communicate with those visions within. Um, and really just, you know, focus communication on not necessarily through words, but almost through imagery, was, which is a lot of what telepathy is. Um, when we communicate with another person or we receive um, communication telepathically, sometimes it comes in the form of, you know, words or a phrase, um, between you and somebody else, like you hear their voice, you hear them say something, but more often than not, it's in the form of visions that come from another person or that are exchanged between people, like imagery, and that's that's the means of the communication. Um, and this is also something like emotions that are felt or just this inner knowing that's felt in the third eye chakra. So I feel that definitely um, you're looking to also experience a third eye opening or a third eye reopening. Um, if your third eye has, if you've already gone through a third eye opening at some point in time, just on some level, your utilization of that muscle, of that chakra, that that tool of perception is going to be heightened and in some way it looks like that is going to be in conjunction with telepathy. So we've got the card of the sun, illumination, growth, God energy. So again, that kind of like that, that the within this kind of like muscle, this reflex within um, with this sun energy, though, it's definitely, you know, solar plexus chakra, and that's that's the center of empowerment, um, the confidence center of the energetic body. So I'm feeling that the guidance with that, um, as it's talking here also about illumination and just you know, this, this opening of the third eye chakra or the, the reopening or the strengthening of the, the ability and the sight, the inner knowing, the inner sight of this third eye chakra, it's really going to provide you with some illumination, um, some, you know, answers to things or insights that you did, couldn't necessarily just find or see in the material world, but it's going to come, it's going to come through this kind of, this antenna into the deeper and more etheric realms. I feel that also as this telepathy strengthens within you or comes online for the first time, that you'll be able to connect with the energy of others that maybe communication in the 3D has been kind of muddled with. Um, you've not been able to have, you know, very deep conversations with them or, you know, really get into the emotions of the underlying causes of things. And so in some way by telepathically communicating with these people, 
like with their with their soul on a spiritual level you're going to get a lot of illumination as far as maybe some of the motivations um, or the wounding that is leading to the behavior or maybe the lack of communication for the 3d self like you'll be communicating soul to soul with others and really seeing beyond the surface of things seeing into kind of these deeper crevices of you know the etheric self the energetic self the deep psyche um, to be able to have those exchanges that in the 3d world aren't necessarily possible so i'm gonna get some tarot now to get some more clarification about this for group three and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got Fortitude, which in this deck is the Strength card. And let's get one more, please, for group three. Thank you. And we've got the Three of Wands. So I feel that this is really talking about um, kind of, it, it's going to create a lot of reconciling as far as kind of reaching this, this place of peace between your interactions with the 3D self of another um, and then this, this communication, this telepathy on the soul level, this interaction with the 5D self. And so in some way, when this gift of yours um, comes online, reawakens, strengthens in some way, this, this third eye chakra awakening, or in some way, a deepening of your ability to access that tool, that muscle, that, that gift, that ability, um, it's going to be, you're going to be able to then address situations which might have been a little more difficult or people that might have been a little more difficult. And you're really going to be able to come to a place of peace and a place of balance and a place of contentment and close out a lot of cycles where maybe things were left unsaid or there was some kind of confusion. In some way, you're going to be able to... Um, create this, you know, bring together kind of the, the 3D self that you've been dealing with and, you know, whatever has occurred with this other person with their 3D or other people even, um, what occurred on the 3D level and really communicating with the soul, with the 5D, with the higher self, and to be able to bring those two together to come to some sort of new understanding of the circumstances or maybe the way things played out, um, to be able to look toward a better future, to plan a better direction in which you want to head um, in terms of working on the relationship with the person going forward or moving in a new direction altogether, that you're going to be able to get a lot more insight as far as what is possible for you in relation to relationships that you have with others or even um, relationships that you'd want going forward. In some way, this telepathy via the third eye, via that that opening, it's it's this greater insight. It's it's a greater ability to see into the nature of the situation, to be able to energetically work with a person, to creating that balance, to creating that resolution, that reconciliation for a lot of people. Um, and then in some way, looking forward to where, what direction you want to take that relationship in the future, whether it's working on things or just closing out the cycle um, and for yourself creating that resolution, that kind of finale, and then moving in a different direction without kind of the way of the unknowing or maybe where things left off, the pause in the situation, or even just some endings that weren't so good that have been sticking, they've been sticking with you. It's been things you've been thinking about and you're going to be illuminated as to, um, be, and to be able to look deeply into kind of the underlying factors and create a sense of peace for yourself. And then also going forward into other relationships and you know, situations going forward as this, this gift, this spiritual gift activates, I feel that you're really going to be able to um, see deeply beyond kind of the, the surface interactions and the surface, you know, 
words of people. You're going to be able to see into those, those deeper kind of motivations, see into those core wounds that some people might be carrying around. Um, and then in some way to be able to formulate a better relationship with them or interact with them on a deeper and different level going forward than you might have done previously when you were maybe just focused on kind of the 3D and words and actions versus like the point of soul evolution that people are at or, or the wounds that they themselves are carrying around or, you know, the perspective and the level of growth and ascension that they are operating from. So this, this strengthening of this telepathy and this opening of this third eye chakra, this, this strengthening of the third eye chakra, it's really going to help you in terms of, um, nourishing and deeper connections moving forward and to be able to connect with, um, and open yourself up to other people on a deeper and more intimate level in terms of the soul moving forward. So let me get one of these cards and see what's an angel or maybe a ascended master, a god, a goddess that's going to be working with you pretty intimately during this, this spiritual gift that's coming online for group three. So we've got Archangel Raphael. And Malachite, grace for the grand gesture. So I'm feeling that, you know, with this green and all this kind of heart chakra energy, that this this telepathy and this this being able to see deeply beyond the surface of things via your third eye and, you know, just having a deeper insight into different possibilities or timelines that are available to you that you can then kind of shift your focus and your actions and your momentum toward to move in that direction. Um, it's going to create a lot of heart healing for you. This, you know, these deeper kind of soul to soul communications with people, um, maybe telepathy with those that you're currently in a no contact situation with, and it's been weighing very heavily on your heart. Um, that Archangel Raphael, he's a, an archangel of healing, that he's working very closely with you at this time to um, kind of navigate this gift in terms of bringing some healing to you for heartbreak or, you know, misunderstanding, and then also providing that same energy to the other person for them to, in their own time, kind of digest that and help that propel them along their own soul's journey. Um, and whether that results in uh, different contact or, you know, different conduct or a different interaction between you and this person in the physical world, um, that's kind of beside the point because on a on a on an energetic level there's going to be a lot of this healing that takes place that as far as as you're concerned you're then open able to open up your sights to different possibilities an alternative future for yourself out of whatever maybe area that you might have been stuck in in your life any kind of residual heartbreak that was sort of clouding your vision maybe clouding your interactions with others you know new people that you're meeting or maybe it had led to some feelings of mistrust or skepticism or doubt in a certain capacity and so by opening up this ability to kind of resolve things with people of uh, people of the past that you or people who are still in your life that maybe it's you know, you're just, you're really not getting to the root of the matter of things that as the spiritual gift comes online, you're able to create that kind of resolution for yourself, that balance for yourself um, between the mundane and the higher realms of dealing with that person in order to create that healing and to really just open yourself up to great abundance in the future moving forward. So get some final guidance for group three about this, this spiritual gift, this activation. So we've got this card of alignment. So that sword of truth, this, this intellect, this, you know, with telepathy, it's, it's hard to mince words with telepathy. It's really, it's straight to the point. It's often the things that people are afraid to say or won't say in the physical world. All of that can come through um, from a safe place of a telepathic um, interaction with somebody, a telepathic, you know, conversation or communion with somebody. And so I feel that through this telepathy, through this, you know, 
interacting with them in kind of the higher realms in that sense, you know, just really working through some difficulties. It's again, going to offer a lot of that heart shocker healing that, you know, that opening of the heart center that we, that we saw here with this card, um, where with your third eye open or open even further, you are able to then see beyond even difficult communication that might've come in with somebody in the past or, a harsh ending to something or, you know, again, a miscommunication. And you're able to really see beyond that to the truth of the matter, to see their wounding, to see the place that they are coming from and to help you reconceptualize your idea of this person, of the situation, and to bring about healing for yourself so that you can move forward in a direction that is more in alignment with your highest good, that is more in keeping with what it is that you want for yourself out of this life and the things that will kind of bring out the best in you as opposed to any kind of feelings of stuck or stagnation or disappointment. So those are your messages, group three. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed this reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up or comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. You can also subscribe to my channel and get notifications about future videos that I post. If you would like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of this video for that. You can also follow me on Instagram, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that as well. So I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be 